Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us again for our weekly wrap up. My name is Jeremy Cronemeyer. I'm the operations manager for Wickham Financial Group, and I have Graham Wickham here, president and CEO of Wickham Financial and Insurance Services. Graham, what happened in the markets last week? Yeah, thank you, Jeremy. Uh, thanks for our listeners jumping on the call. Uh, wow, what a wild ride. Uh, I mean, we uh, flash crashed on Monday of last week, spurred by Japan currency carry trade. I don't know all the stuff that you can throw in that. And then we had just had a massive rally back. So we saw the uh, Nasdaq up about 5% uh, from those lows. The S&P was up about 4%. Russell 2000, uh, about 3% and about uh, somewhere around 4 odd percent for the Dow Jones Industrial. And that was pretty much led uh, by technology, consumer discretionary sector. Uh, so if we look at oil, that was uh, on the flip side of that, that fell. OPEC came out, uh, cut its 2024 growth forecast. Uh, crude oil was down about 2%. At the same time, we did see yields pull back with anticipation that, uh, that we're seeing a bit more of a benign CPI report, which would maybe give a better runway for the Federal Reserve to come in and be a bit more aggressive, possibly with cutting interest rates as we move into that September uh, meeting. So we did see inflation consumer prices rise about 0.2% month over month, but it actually came down uh, for July year over year to about 2.9%. So again, all these figures are coming in the direction that we want them to have. We just don't want them to come down too quick, too fast. And then uh, the inflation, uh, excuse me, recession concerns kind of rears its head, but we just don't see that right now. Uh, consumer spending, retail sales rose about 1%. Uh, one comment from Walmart, when they reported the numbers, and they reported really strong numbers, is that they're saying that the consumer still looks pretty strong, maybe being a bit more discerning on where they spend, but they're still spending uh, on some goods, at least at, at, least at Walmart. Uh, we'll look at the labor market. Jobless claims dropped about 227,000. Manufacturing, that was still weak. Industrial production falling in July. Manufacturing contraction for the uh, uh, Philadelphia Fed region still saw that contraction. Housing, new home construction, that fell to the lowest level since we saw since April of 2020. Even though we did have Home Depot come out and beat earnings, they still were a bit temperate in their expectation going forward in terms of home improvement prices uh, or projects. Uh, I guess waiting for a bit of maybe interest rates to come down or the consumer is maybe to pick up some of those uh, larger price tech projects uh, from home improvement standpoint. We go overseas, uh, we're looking at Japan, uh, China, the UK. I mean, we're just looking at some retail sales over there. We had, uh, over in China, we had Japan come out with a Q2 GDP. That rose about 0.8%. That was exceeding expectations. We did see the producer prices increase for the sixth consecutive month. For the uh, UK, we saw the CPI rose about 2.2% in July. Um, Overall, things were kind of clipping along over there. It seems like inflation right now uh, is, is in the realm of getting in the realm of comfort for them as well. So if we kind of look into this week, right, uh, it's basically the Fed. We got the Jackson Hole Economic Policy Symposium coming out. So we're going to have a lot of Fed speak. Federal Chairman Powell is going to be talking. I'm sure the market's going to be looking for hints that probably won't be there on what they're going to do in September, but they're going to look just to see just the same. Uh, they'll parse the words out and, you know, did he mean this when he phrased it this way, so on and so forth. But we basically got U.S. economic data rolling out as well. We got the flash manufacturing, we got services, uh, the PMIs coming out, new and existing home sales. We'll be looking at some Fed minutes. Then we'll get into some international focus. And again, I think we're going to really just be looking at a lot of the same economic numbers uh, that we'll be wrapping up uh, this week with. Gotcha. Well, thanks, Graham. We always appreciate the information. Yeah. And after, I mean, we've had, basically had a big rally off of last week's session lows. Like, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it was huge, Jeremy. I mean, absolutely ginormous. I, I forget the exact numbers leaving me right now, but eight, nine days. 
consecutive rally in the market. That's one of the longest short-term rallies we've had. And again, keep in mind, a lot of that and a lot of, uh, we get concerned, right? We get concerned. We never want to see the markets down, but we also got to understand what was the mechanics behind that pullback? Did it have anything to do with a dramatically lower economy or consumer spending, so on and so forth? And the answer was no. So I think Sometimes we need to check our emotions a little bit and we don't jump to any conclusions. I know we didn't hear, I know our clients didn't, but I do want to put that out. Sometimes it has nothing to do with us. It could just be something that's happening overseas and it's just in a very short term affecting our market. But keep in mind, this was a really big rally off of those lows. Uh, it's been basically parabolic straight up. We already showed some of those numbers and uh, I, I just, you know, kind of encourage clients, hey, listen, if you've gotten some nice gains, you never go broke taking a little bit of profit. I'm not saying time the market. I'm just saying, listen, if you've been a little overweight or you've gotten a nice little pop in some things and they seem a little stretched, it never hurts to whittle it down, take a little bit, uh, slide it over some areas that are unloved, underappreciated. Or if you need additional funds right now to fund monthly uh, distributions for your retirement or a project out there and you've been waiting for a pop in this market, maybe it's OK to take a little bit, fund that project or that distribution need you have right now. Gotcha. Well, we always appreciate the expertise, Graham, and we yeah. always pre our, appreciate our listeners. Um, check us check us out on social media or on our website, and we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.